What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman. And we're 28 days into a new year, which means by now most of us have gone back to our ratchet 2015 selves. Hey. And upon some reflecting, I realized that's okay. You know why? Because there's certain things about me that are never gonna change because I will always be horrible at them. Number one, saving files. Watching me on a computer is like watching an episode of Hoarders, okay? I hoard files. Files I don't need, files I do need, files people sent me, files that just look cute next to other files, files that just bring out my eyes. And my computer has very evidently given me categories to save these files in, okay? It's right there in front of me. Photos, videos, what? <laughs> Documents. What the? What the? What? What else? What? 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 what, what? Downloads. Yet for some reason, I continue to save every single file onto my desktop. Why do I do that? Straight up, my desktop has so many damn icons on it. Okay, it looks like a freaking best hit CD. And honestly, it takes less than two seconds to just save a file in the appropriate folder. But for some reason, I still can't do it. Photo, desktop. Video, desktop. Music, desktop. Virus, desktop. Antivirus, desktop. And not only do I save everything onto my desktop, I also don't save files with appropriate file names. Oh, what's this? Super important file I absolutely can't lose and I'll need for the rest of my life. What's the name? QPZ2X12ZABCD. Save, desktop, perfect. I'm a moron, okay, and I don't deserve to be successful. This right here, okay, this is what my desktop actually looks like. This is a real picture of my desktop. Is this a desktop or is it a case of leprosy? No one knows. Number two, updating anything. When my computer prompts me to update my software, I laugh. Like, I literally laugh because to me that is a joke. I have clicked remind me tomorrow for two years. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I have clicked remind me tomorrow longer than any of my real life relationships. Like that's my reality. I refuse to update my computer, my phone, my iPad, and whatever the F needs to be updated because it's annoying. And I would rather click later for the rest of my life than commit 20 minutes to updating the damn thing. Mostly because after you update something, you have to restart that device. And the thought of restarting a device is unacceptable to me and will probably be the end of my life. Like, what will I do for the 30 seconds it takes for my phone to restart? And let me just put that out there. Knowing my life, in the 30 seconds my phone is taking to restart, a fire will spontaneously start and my leg will break, okay? Straight up death by iOS. So F it, I'm updating nothing, okay? I don't care, I'll pay the consequence. I don't care if the only game on my phone is my effing snake, okay? Yo, real talk, if you know that game, yo. We can be friends. And for those of you that don't know that game, live interpretation. Number three. Picking up my clothes. Okay, straight up, I'm convinced that anyone who takes off their clothes and then right away hangs up those clothes is just Illuminati confirmed. Because there is no way, okay, no way I can take off an article of clothing and not throw it on the floor. I simply cannot do it. I cannot do it. I don't know if it's just an allergy or like a spiritual belief, but I just cannot get my body to do that. Because I take off a shirt and I'm like, hey, listen, T-shirt, okay? Like, we, we had a great time today. I get it, okay? But, but I've moved on to this shirt now, okay? And I'm over you. You were like so two minutes ago, all right? And I don't really want to go back into my past, you know, and deal with your BS, okay? So I just need you to leave. I need you to get out of my life. And everything you own is in a box to the left. Peace. Some call it messy. Some call it lazy. I call it art. My closet is simply stepping out of the box and expressing itself on my floor. And bed. And chair and car. Okay, but to be fair, if your car is not a closet, something's wrong with you. Number four, packaging. Okay, am I an absolute dingus? Because I feel like I can't open any type of packaging. I'm talking new item, bag of chips, pack of cookies, I cannot do it. I just feel like these days, things are packaged in preparation for the apocalypse. Like, these days, cookies don't want to be eaten, okay? I'll be trying to open a pack of cookies, you know, strategically opening it, tearing the corner, and it's like, that's it. And now I have to eat all of the cookies because I can't close again. That's why I don't have a six pack. Yes, that's why. I swear, that's why. And you know those certain items like batteries and scissors that come in like really intense plastic packaging? How do you even open that? Why are these things packaged so intensely? Why do I need to solve the Da Vinci Code to open this pack of batteries? Like, why do I need scissors to open this pack of scissors? I feel like you have to lose a finger. There's no other way. You have to lose a finger. And even though I know I suck at this, I'm still that douchebag that sees someone else struggling and I'm like, yo, yo, pass it here, let me do it, let me do it. And then I struggle. Why do you do that, Lily? Why, why are you fronting like you're some sort of package opening pimp? You suck. You suck at this. Stop fronting. Stop offering. You, Lily, need to stick to things you're better at, okay? Like, 
sitting. You sit so good. Number five. Emails. Okay, so I get like 100 urgent emails a day, like straight up. The movie 300 is not about Greek history. It is about me and my inbox. I'm constantly trying to win that battle, okay? But I have a really bad habit of doing this. What is this? Oh, this seems pretty important. Okay, let me just star this. Mm, okay, star this. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna come back to this. Let me just star it. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna star this one, this one. This. Yeah, I'll come back to all of these after. My inbox is the mother effing galaxy, okay? With all these stars. And yes, now I have zero unread messages, but now I have 700 stars. Apparently, I'm Mario. And a star solves everything. I pulled my arm. Oh, I have to quit YouTube forever. All the haters say, hey. Number six, names. I'm gonna just be real with you, right? I'm gonna just be real with you right now. If we've ever spoken, ever, even once in my entire life, chances are I have no idea what your name is. I'm just really bad at remembering people's names and faces and existence. You know, I'm sorry. And I don't know if it's just like I have a bad memory because I meet so many people or I'm just a horrible person, but sometimes I can meet someone for like two or three times and still have no idea who they are and what their name is. And it's like weird because I have to like end the conversation in such an awkward, abrupt way. And that's why I use the terms like, hey, friend, pal, buddy so often. People think I'm friendly, but really, I'm just a douchebag that has no idea who you are. But in my defense, I hope you enjoyed that video. Yo, if you like that video and my pink t-shirt tank top a thing, give it a big thumbs up, comment below letting me know something that you are horrible at, and let's just be horrible at things together, it's okay, let's embrace our flaws, okay? If you wanna check out my last video, it is right over there, it is my parents reacting to my appearance on The Tonight Show, my vlogs are right over there, you wanna follow that channel because in a few hours, I'm flying to Trinidad and Tobago for Carnival, so that's gonna be exciting. And make sure you subscribe, yo, because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love soup woman that is a rep and soup. I'm kind of working out. Can you see? Can you see that? Hold on, wait. Is there a light somewhere here? Just I stand like nah. <laughs>